Hi guys, good evening to all. This is Mike Padua and we are back to our latest weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, December 5 to 7, 2022. And this is the English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Before we begin, I would like to thank you. Thank you to all who greeted me for my birthday today. And I hope everybody's okay and uh, wishing you all a typhoon free month okay for this december but we have a low pressure system that is set to develop this weekend and is likely to pass to the northeast of Bicol region based on the computer models or either over samar and we are going to monitor that low pressure system that is uh, uh, forecasted by various computer models we are going to show to you in a while but let's begin here's the graph set for this uh, evening until tomorrow Tuesday we have the uh, surge of a new uh, northeast monsoon moving across extreme northern Luzon and uh, a trio of uh, subtropical low is uh, moving away from Japan and is expected to have a shear line that will bring rainfall across northern Cagayan within the next 24 hours. It is not mentioned here, but for next graph set tomorrow morning, we're going to uh, measure that uh, shear line. Okay. And uh, northeasterly wind flow, a weak Amihan, is uh, affecting uh, Cagayan Island group. Over here, over the Bicol region, Mimoropa, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago and eastern coastal waters of um, Mindanao. We have the uh, usual easterly surface wind flow bringing some uh, sunny to cloudy conditions with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, uh, particularly in the afternoon or evening or sometimes in the morning. So expect to bring your umbrellas since we are still in the midst of the La Nina uh, conditions. So this uh, enhanced uh, easterlies is mainly due to the prevailing uh, La Nina, which boosts the uh, easterly wind flow across our country. Down here to the southeast of Mindanao, we have the near equatorial trough. Nothing to worry, nothing uh, developing yet as of this time. But uh, just like I said, this coming weekend, there's a possibility that this cloudiness will track to the northwest and become an area of low pressure. And we still don't know it if it will develop into a tropical cyclone, but we are going to monitor that this coming weekend. Here's the uh, fast animation. As you can see, there's already a cloudiness associated with a developing uh, shear line over from a departing uh, subtropical low. So there's a possibility of a shear line here. While the, uh, let me change this uh, color. Northeast monsoon will prevail over this area. Okay, bringing some strong winds from the northeast of up to 70 or 80 kph gust, while the rest of the Philippine Islands will be under the influence of the uh, uh, easterly uh, wind flow affecting these areas. Okay, so expect thunderstorms over uh, within uh, inside, I mean, expect thunderstorms to prevail inside this red box. Okay. And uh, zoom in satellite animation so far it's quite as of this time aside from this uh, building uh, CB clouds over northern Cagayan and we have here some isolated patches of thunderstorms in some sections of Mindanao and if we take a look at the rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days until uh, Thursday we expect here increasing rainfall activity over the northern portions of Cagayan and it will be more frequent over the uh, Kalayan Island uh, as well as the uh, Babuyan group of islands. So this is due to the shoreline uh, embedded within the, uh, the strong surge of the northeast monsoon. While uh, elsewhere it's quite normal except for the uh, eastern sections of uh, Visayas and um, northeastern Mindanao for possible rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the easterly surface wind flow as well here over the southern tip of uh, Palawan there is a likelihood of some thunderstorms because of converging um, northeasterly and easterly winds 
and uh, if we take a look at the uh, wind and uh, pressure forecast from the European model for the next three days by uh, Tuesday afternoon or tomorrow afternoon we expect the surge of the northeast monsoon affecting Batanes, Papua and Cobb Islands and the extreme northern portions of Luzon Wednesday afternoon the uh, northeast monsoon will start to weaken while uh, there's a uh, possibility of northeasterly wind flow over the eastern sections of uh, Luzon down to eastern Mindanao and we have here a surface trough moving northward and possibility of developing LPA come Thursday afternoon over Palau area if we move it forward until uh, this weekend uh, Saturday December 10 and Sunday December 11 here we go the uh, possibility of a low pressure system developing to the east northeast of Bicol region and we are going to keep an eye on this uh, low pressure system because on Monday December 12 it will start to move west southwest in the general direction of the northern coastal areas or northern coastal waters of Bicol region so uh, expect some rains and thunderstorms that is expected to uh, form over Bicol and uh, portions of the Visayas beginning uh, this weekend to Monday and Tuesday um, December 13 it was expected to uh, dissipate over southern Tagalog provinces and the northeast monsoon will still uh, remain over the extreme northern parts of Luzon and possibility of a new shear line here over uh, Cagayan Valley Okay, so far that's the forecast. It's uh, expected to change uh, within the next 24 hours, these uh, forecast models. So we will keep you updated, uh, especially on Wednesday, what will be the outcome of this uh, potential LPA that is expected to form to the east or northeast of Bicol region this coming weekend. Again, uh, that's the latest. So that's the latest for this uh, Monday evening and we'll see you guys on Wednesday. This is Mike Padua saying uh, good night, have a great day and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel.